In this video, I'm going to talk about what is an MZ catcher, how do MZ catchers work, how criminals use MZ catchers, and then finally, what can you do about the threat of MZ catchers? So what is an MZ catcher? MZ catchers are cell tower spoofers, which trick smartphones into connecting to the equipment, the MZ catcher itself, and are used by law enforcement to track and monitor criminals via their mobile phones. However, it is also a growing threat from hackers now that you can build your own MZ catcher. Other names for an MZ catcher include cell site simulators, fake cell tower, stingray, dirt box, cell spoofer, and they are all primarily the same thing. To build your own MZ catcher, you just need some parts. You can order online, open source software, and a computing device such as a portable laptop. And no, I'm not going to give you more directions because I don't want people to go out and build their own MZ catcher. I've seen recent articles that claim you can build a simple version as cheap as $20. And some people are even turning Wi Fi routers into MZ catchers where they create an open Wi Fi with no password. And anyone using a smartphone with auto Wi-Fi connect turned on that drives by or walks by could become a victim just because it automatically connects to this Wi-Fi network set up as an MZ catcher. So go to your phone, look at your Wi-Fi settings and see if you have auto connect turned on. And I would recommend that you turn that off. For an MZ catcher to work on cellular connections, it just needs to have the highest signal strength since phones are designed to connect to the tower with the strongest signal. Proper MZ catchers can simply operate at a higher priority frequency, which is achieved by both having a strong signal, but also by being physically closer than the nearest cell tower. Law enforcement could use an MZ catcher at a protest, for example, to document who is within range and attending that protest if they have their cell phone with them. Hackers could use that same technology to not only park down the street from their target, but at a mall, a conference in Vegas, at an airport, outside your law firm, for example. This is a passive attack, and you would never know your communication is being monitored since your mobile phone is working as you would expect most of the time when an MZ catcher is attacking you. Now, new technology and protocols do benefit the mobile user, such as the 4G, LTE, and 5G protocols, each containing a security stack to help secure the connection. However, MZ catchers have the ability to slow your connection down to 3G or even 2G, which removes all that security your carriers love to advertise about on TV. So how do criminals use MZ catchers against you? When an MZ catcher is active, it's known as a man in the middle attack and allows a hacker to do several things depending on the capability of the device and the cellular protocol being used at that time. A primary use, for example, is location tracking. An MZ catcher can get your specific GPS location from your phone, even using triangulation to get a very precise location, such as where are you in a hotel, at a conference, or inside of a building. A hacker could take an MZ catcher to a crypto conference in Vegas, for example, to identify and gather info about all the crypto investors attending. They could park outside a law office handling high profile cases to identify who enters the building, who is meeting with whom, and of course, monitor phone and text messages from cell phones coming from near that MZ catcher. You could use an MZ catcher outside an area known for illegal activities as another example, and wait for high profile people to enter and then blackmail them. The use of an MZ catcher is really only limited to the imagination of a hacker. The second primary use of an MZ catcher is data extraction. An MZ catcher can capture your communications of voice, text, and data. They cannot extract information stored on the device. They are primarily used to be obtrusive into your voice, text, and data between your phone's radio and the cell tower. This includes data such as phone numbers, who are you calling, who's calling you, caller identities, call duration, as well as data that is unencrypted, such as the actual phone call, text messages, and certain types of data usage with web applications. Another popular hacker's use of MZ catchers is data interception. Certain MZ catchers will allow operators to divert calls and text messages, edit messages, and spoof a user's identity in calls and texts. 
To give you an example, let's say on your cell phone, you want to access your bank account. So if somebody's using an IMSI catcher on you and you're trying to go to bankofamerica.com, they could actually divert that request and send you over to a fake bankofamerica.com with one letter off as an example. Then you enter in your login, your password. They're, of course, gathering information. And while you're trying to figure out what's going on, they're now logging into your bank account. Another use for hackers of an IMSI catcher is to deliver spyware to smartphones. Some higher end IMSI catchers advertise the ability to deliver spyware to targeted devices. So that could be to one device, could be to 100 plus devices. They could take an IMSI catcher, a high end IMSI catcher, to a conference in Manhattan or to a hotel and push spyware out to all the devices within range. If you're familiar with Pegasus, where it roots your device, takes control of your microphone, your camera, uh, takes emails, copies them, sends them out to a secondary email so that hacker can ac have access to all your communications. This is something that these high-end MZ catchers have the ability to do. So if they just hack you once, push spyware to your device, they no longer need to know where you are or have access to you physically. Uh, or be close to you, that spyware then is going to send your information to them, and they could be 8,000 miles away. So now that you understand the threat of IMSI catchers, how do you protect yourself from the threat of IMSI catchers? There are a few options, each with major holes and limitations, and then there is the Afani Black Seal mobile service, which I'll talk about shortly. First, one tell that you may be hit with an IMSI catcher is if your phone connection goes from 4G or 5G down to 3G or 2G in a location, you would not expect this to happen. Now, this could also be because you're in a dense area, you're around a lot of people that are overloading the cell towers. And so it could be simply that uh, the cell tower is overloaded, the cell tower closest to you is on maintenance or it's down, but just be aware of your surroundings if your connection speed drops dramatically. Of course, not everybody is looking at their connection type all the time, so this is a major flaw. In order to protect yourself 100% of the time, you'd have to be literally looking at your phone to look for those kind of dramatic speed drops uh, to even think that you might be hit by an IMSI catcher. And even if you do get hit by an IMSI catcher and you know it, then what are you going to do about it? You basically have to shut your phone off or put it on flight mode and then access your data, make your phone call uh, some other time. And so it's just a lot of flaws in this kind of method. Second, there are IMSI catcher detection apps, but they require rooting your device. This creates a bigger security hole now because once you've rooted your phone, you've opened the door for malware and spyware to easily take control of your phone, your microphone, your camera, and do some very funky things. You just don't want to risk that unless you are an uber security techie and you have another reason for wanting to root your device. Also, if you travel outside the U.S., then be aware that every cellular network is different, and these type of apps could deliver up to a 95% false rate because of the differences of these networks and how they work. Third, you can purchase IMSI catcher detection hardware. This is quite expensive. Uh, they are also large devices, and so it's just not practical. You're not going to carry it uh, in your car with your kids or when you travel. Um, and everywhere you go, just to simply try and detect an IMSI catcher. It's just too expensive, too impractical. And uh, therefore, it's usually used on uh, like military bases, for example. Now, with all that said, is there a solution that exists for the common user of mobile phones? And indeed, there is. Afani is currently the most secure mobile service in the U.S. with our safe plan. We guarantee against SIM swaps to protect from hackers stealing your mobile account and then resetting your passwords to social media, banks, email, crypto accounts, and other proprietary applications. And we back it up with a $5 million insurance policy. However, we are upping our game and about to launch our premium Black Seal data-only service to U.S. residents in December. And then we will expand that offer around the world in 2023. We will make our Black Seal service available to existing customers first, then to U.S. residents, and then expand to Canada and Mexico, and then expand overseas. 
So what is the Black Seal service? The Black Seal plan, also known as BSP, will be launched as a data-only service where we have built security and privacy into the mobile service itself. We deliver BSP with our Afani provided SIM card, which we ship to you. And in the near future, we'll also be able to offer Black Seal using eSIM capabilities for BSP in Q1 of 2023. You simply install the BSP SIM into your device and it can also be used as a second SIM card if you want to use a standard mobile service on SIM 1, for example, using our safe service of voice data text on SIM 1, and then use the BSP as your SIM 2 card, and then assign your data or certain applications to use the BSP SIM card to make sure that your proprietary applications are uh, being covered by the most secure and private data service on the planet. The benefits of Black Seal include the following. First, BSP is a data plan, and in the initial launch, this plan will cover a minimum of two operators in each of the countries listed here at www.afani.com forward slash Black Seal. We are covering a minimum of two operators in 39 countries in the initial launch. This means that you will not only get data in these countries, but the security and privacy will follow you as you travel. On Black Seal, it is technically a roaming plan. So whatever country you're in, you will actually roam from one carrier to the next. This makes you a little bit more elusive, but it also expands your data coverage. So as you are on one operator's data plan or data network, if you move outside of their coverage and another operator uh, has coverage, you will be moved to that second operator. On this web page, you can see all of the Black Seal features that we are launching with on December 1st. These are all specific to data only. And then on the right, you can see in the grayed out text, these are features that we're working on today for voice and text. So today, Black Seal is data only, but by the end of Q1 or in Q2, we plan on having a full Black Seal solution that covers voice, data, and text. If you are interested in purchasing or getting more information about BSP, then visit our webpage, www.afani.com forward slash Black Seal, and submit to be added to the list for consideration. Current Afani customers will be first in line, then U.S. residents who wish to become a customer, then we will expand to Mexico, Canada, and the U.K., and then more in Q1 of 2023. This first phase of our Black Seal offering is considered beta in the sense that we are looking for customers who will provide us feedback on their experience. We will also use this phase to identify any support gaps before we open BSP to other countries. We would love to have you join our secure mobile community and look forward to your participation. Please like this video and share if you are part of a community who may benefit from a premium mobile service. Also subscribe to our social media as we will be putting out a lot more mobile and security content starting with this video. In addition to launching our premium Black Seal plan, we also have partnerships with both secure mobile phones and secure Android operating systems that you can buy in addition to the Afani Black Seal service, or you'll be able to buy Black Seal as part of their offering, which I will review in separate videos. For those uber security conscious users, the combination of a secure device, secure operating system, and Black Seal mobile service is going to give you the best protection on the planet. We plan to expand our Black Seal protection to cover voice and SMS in early 2023. And we even have a secure VoIP app on our roadmap, and we are starting to test the secure VoIP app today. We can cover your security needs today, but we are also working on next-gen solutions for tomorrow.